What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to take a look at the Marvel Legends Spider-Man Homecoming Marvel's Vulture. The re-release Vulture, I should say. I'm very, very happy to get this figure. I ended up not getting the uh, Build-A-Figure from a few years back. So, the fact that they re-released them made them more screen accurate. I was pretty happy to, to hear about that when I saw them at the shelf, on the shelf at Toys R Us. Instantly grabbed them, instantly bought them. Um, quick look at the packaging here. We'll take a quick read on the back. With an impressive flying apparatus, Adrian Toomes soars through the skies to threaten Spider-Man. There's one thing I'm already noticing that I don't like, obviously, but I think we maybe should have gotten an alternate Michael Keaton head. They could have put it right there. That would have been amazing. But unfortunately, we don't have a Michael Keaton head. We have to rely on customs, I guess, for that. Not a big deal. Not a game changer. But it is a really, I think, a really important feature of this figure. Especially from the movie, because a lot of scenes with him with his helmet off. So, anyways. Maybe they just kind of get the likeness. Who knows? But anyways, let's uh, rip this guy open and uh, see how he looks. Alright guys, so here he is out of the packaging, and first glance, I will say I am having an issue with articulating this uh, left ankle here. It does not want to go up a little bit. It came like a little slanted downwards in the box, but I feel like if I heat that up with a, with a hair dryer or something, it'll probably fix itself. But yeah, great detail out of the box. We're going to take a quick look at his accessories because he does come with quite a few and uh, we'll take, we'll come back and look at the uh, figure itself after we look at the accessories. Alright, so here is all his accessories. And I actually couldn't tell from the box that he came with like a little flight stand thing, so that's kind of cool. Maybe it's not really a flight stand, more to keep him stable standing up maybe, but uh, not bad. Cool that they included that. But yeah, let's start off with uh, these little gauntlet pieces here. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I do believe that these are new. That these didn't come with the uh, first release. I'm not too sure about that. Uh, let me know in the comments, but I guess that makes it more screen accurate. Because I think he did have these in the movie. Uh, these things, too. I think they clip onto his hands. Maybe they clip onto this somehow. I'm not too sure. And then he also does come with his little visor for his uh, helmet. See how easy it is to put on here. I don't remember him wearing this too much in the movie. But then again, it's clear, so fits on pretty good. Not bad. I don't know if I'm going to display him with that on. But uh, yeah, so he comes with those. And he comes with, of course, his wing pieces. Um, lots of wing pieces here. Um, we got one piece, two pieces, three pieces, four pieces, and then the final fifth piece, which is really cool. I like these uh, spinning uh, fan things right here. It looks really, really cool. Um, we're gonna pause for a sec. I'm gonna try and build this off camera because I don't want to be embarrassed if I don't know how to do it. <laughs> and uh, we'll be right back in a second with hopefully the wings built and uh, we'll try applying them to the figure. So we'll be right back. Whoa. All right, and finally I have him put together. It actually took me quite a bit there. Uh, one of the sides, uh, I think it was the left side, didn't want to clamp in for some reason. And I was starting to stress that I was gonna snap the plastic. So I took my very, Sweet time with it. Um, yeah, out of the box with the wings on. He is a pretty big, uh, wide spanded figure, man. This, these wings are huge. Um, first time seeing it, first time holding it. Like, like I said, I never got the previous release, so I don't really know how, if the wings are bigger or smaller or what. But man, they just they work awesome. I like how we can. Oh, see, there you go, right there. They just popped off. So yeah, this was the side I was having trouble. Uh, getting in there uh, just kept popping out but the other side actually is fine it can move no problem but yeah for this side for some reason wasn't uh, go wasn't going on but I like how he can 
shield himself. And see, like that again, they just fall off. So, yep. Don't know if that's a if that's an issue. Maybe I have the wrong sides on. I don't think I do, but uh, looks fine, I guess. But let's just take the wings off for now. We'll take a closer look at the wings. Uh, nice silver look to them. They got that blue for the fans in this part. He also has some uh, green going right here, which is nice. Both sides look pretty good. Um, that's really bugging me that that fell off. <laughs> um, yeah, pretty awesome. I don't know how I'm going to display him with these wings. He'll probably just... Uh, Maybe if I can get him into a flying pose, I don't know, it'll be hard. I might need a flight stand or something. Uh, this thing, I don't really know what it's for. I think it's just to help him uh, stand up. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. Or maybe you slide uh, this piece into there. It kind of holds the wingsuit up. But it doesn't really stay in there pretty well. So I don't know what the deal with this thing is. Maybe it has to be imperfect. Even then, I don't know. If the figure's there, it might stay up. But Anyways, those are the wings. Let's take a closer look at the actual figure. Okay, so here he is again. Um, he's looking pretty, pretty good, man. I will say, he looks good. I like the shine from the silver all over the uh, sides and back of the figure here. Really, They really, really pop. Um... I guess the first one just wasn't screen accurate enough color-wise, too. I guess his jacket was a bit darker or lighter, and his pants weren't as green or something. I don't know. I don't have the original figure. Uh, these gauntlet pieces that go on his arms are okay, I guess. There's no, like, joint in them, so, like, if you wanted to bend his elbow, you're going to get that weird effect there, which is okay, I guess, Depends on how, depending on how you pose them. And he does come with these little hand pieces for the actual... I think these are like shocker parts, kind of, like the shocker. Could be wrong about that. I don't remember exactly what these gauntlets do in the movie. But, uh, yeah, he looks really good, man. The only thing, like I said, that would be nice if we had was uh, one of those Michael Keaton head sculpts. But, unfortunately, Hasbro couldn't either get the license for Michael Keaton or they just didn't want to include it. Either way, still a great figure. The uh, fur on the hood there looks really good. Uh, the helmet looks good. There's a nice hose going in there. So that's cool. The visor piece does come off. And apparently the eyes were different on the other one too, I think. Um, don't know. But uh, yeah, there he is out of the box. Let's go over his articulation. So quick articulation here. His legs can go up. His knees don't really bend too much, but they bend a decent amount. Um, yeah, so he can't really kick his butt. He does have that thigh swivel. He's got that ankle swivel, which is always nice. Um, but like I said, this ankle's a little stiff right now, and I'm really scared to articulate it. This one's fine somewhat. This one actually is also stiff, but it's in a nice flat area where I can pose him and he won't fall over. But, uh... Yeah, let's go over. He's got that ab crunch. He's got that waist swivel. I'm sure you guys know the articulation from the other figure. Arms. Not bad. And then you got the head. Swivels. Doesn't look up too much. But he can look down, kind of. So that's okay. But yeah, there is the articulation. Let's uh, compare him to some other uh, Marvel Legends Spider-Man figures, and maybe some Toy Biz ones. Alright guys, here is the Vulture next to some other MCU villains. That's right, I said MCU because I don't know if you guys have seen the latest trailer for uh, No Way Home, but uh, we got this guy coming, and I'm sure you guys know we have Doc Ock coming as well. Um, Fingers crossed Hasbro will make Marvel Legends versions of this Green Goblin and this uh, Doc Ock right here. Um, I know I am missing one of his tentacles. I only have three, so I don't really display him with them. 
I actually don't even know where I put them. I was trying to find them before doing this video and I couldn't find them. Probably in a bin somewhere in the closet. Who knows? But uh, yeah, hopefully we do get some movie versions of those. Uh, Vulture looks pretty good next to all of them. Um, it'd be nice to get the Sandman too, because I guess he's uh, going to be appearing in the film. I will say that the goggles on this Doc Ock, I have no idea whose goggles those are. They might be uh, Doc Browns from NECA. But uh, I just threw those on there, made them, made them look a little more Doc Octopus like, I guess. <laughs> Dr. Ock. Doc Ock. I uh, almost said a bad word there, but yeah. We got Venom there. We got Mysterio, Goblin. Um, be nice to get a Shocker figure, too, honestly. I wouldn't mind just a Shocker figure. Maybe he'll show up in a future movie because we still don't know who the sixth villain is going to be in this new Spider Man movie. We know Goblin's in it. We know uh, Doc Ock is in it. We know. Sandman is in it, and we know the lizard is in there as well. And am I missing one? I gotta be missing one. Lizard, Sandman, Green Goblin, Doc Ock. <laughs> Anyways, I don't think they've shown us everything. I do have a feeling Venom will show up in the film. Uh, maybe at the end. Who knows? Mysterio, who knows if he's actually dead? We don't know that either. But I am just so excited for this movie. Uh, I really, really hope Hasbro makes another Green Goblin figure. Because as much as I love this figure and I've had it for so long and I've played with it for so many of years that when I was young, when I got it, like it was my favorite figure. Uh, hopefully they redo him because the articulation is a little dated. And yeah, to have a Norman Osborn head sculpt too would be amazing. Willem Dafoe. But anyways... There is the vulture next to some villains there from the MCU. Two of them are Toy Biz, yes. But I think they look pretty good together. Let's compare him to some Spider-Man. Okay, so here he is next to uh, the Homecoming Spider-Man figure. This actually is the two-pack version with the uh, non-really uh, likable head sculpt that came with it that no one really likes. Uh, I did end up swapping the head that came with the MJ two-pack and throwing it on this body. Because the other head that came with this, uh, the suited head that came with this body has like a weird squint in his eye. And it just looks really weird. I don't know why they did that. But I actually don't know if that was a defective or if they did that for like an effect. I don't know. But anyways, so this is technically just the Homecoming Spider-Man. They look really good together, I think. Height-wise, not bad, not bad. Let's bring another Spider-Man into this. We'll bring the... Uh, Far From Home Spider-Man, the black and red suit. Uh, if you guys know, Hasbro didn't include the webbings in this figure. I had to draw them on myself with a pen. So, yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure they re-released this figure with a Tom Holland head sculpt. I think it was a Walmart exclusive. I did not see that figure in stores. I honestly don't know if I would have bought it. I might have, just for the head. Because I do have that head on my Iron Spider figure, but... It does look a little bit, like, face printy. like, there's a lot of shine to it, where the newer one kind of looks more, less shiny, so, I don't know, if I were to get it, if I, if I saw it, I would probably get it, but I haven't seen it around, so, anyways, they look pretty good together, side by side. Now, let's compare him, I'll put him over here, let's compare him to the Andrew Garfield Spider-Man from The Amazing Spider-Man. This is a great figure, too, I would say. I just like the style. Um, obviously, it's an older mold back from, like, 2011, whenever that movie came out, actually. I don't even remember. 2012? 2013? I don't remember. Let me know. I'm pretty sure the first one came out in 2011, and then maybe 2013 was the, the sequel. Anyways, they look pretty good together. Uh, will we see the Vulture in this new Spider-Man movie? I don't know. But if he does show up, he will have his hands full because there might be more than one Spider-Man coming in the movie. Um, very interesting. This is obviously the Toy Biz uh, Marvel Spider-Man 2 magnet figure. Magnets on his feet and on his hands. 
He's in great shape. I got him for a killer deal back in the day. I think I got him at a thrift store for like $3 or something. I don't know. He was in a bag with a bunch of other toys. Same with this Spider-Man, actually. This one I got from a thrift store as well. So that was a good find. Uh, let's see what all these guys kind of look together in our last little shot here. All right, guys. Here is all of the figures all together here. Minus, obviously, the uh, Far From Home Spider-Man, but... Yeah, man, I am just so pumped for this new Spider-Man movie. I really hope we get more figures. I do have the Doctor Strange, J. Jonah Jameson, and Black Suited Spider-Man. Still waiting on the uh, the figure that comes with no bath part. I forget what they called that one. The Integrated Suit Spider-Man, I think. I think that's what it was called. But I am going to review those figures very soon. Probably the next review will be uh, Doctor Strange and J. Jonah Jameson. And then I'm probably going to review the two Spider-Man figures in one video as well. But uh, yeah, guys, if you guys enjoyed this little review and comparison video, uh, smash that like, hit subscribe. We're currently at like 306 subscribers, I believe. So we're almost at 500 there. We do have an awesome giveaway going for when we hit 500. So go back on my channel or on my Instagram to check out that post. I am giving away a Marvel Legends two-pack wrestling Macho Man figure and a Black Series Clone Trooper. So yeah, make sure to hit subscribe. Hit the like button, come back. We'll be back with more Spider-Man Marvel Legend reviews. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good one.